So it seems like people are finally ready to take North Korea seriously. And who would have guessed all it took was a buddy comedy starring Seth Rogen and James Franco. Following vague threats made against theaters who would show the movie, Sony Pictures announced that they were pulling their Christmas Day release, The Interview. Now, The Interview stars Rogan and Franco as American journalists who go to North Korea with a secret mission to assassinate Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. Ever since North Korea heard about the movie, they were not happy with it. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but these sort of totalitarian post-Stalinist regimes aren't exactly known for their finely tuned senses of humor. I guess what interests me is why we think it's okay to make fun of North Korea like this. Why has it become a punchline? It's almost as if in the West we think of North Korea as being a non-nation, registering in the Western conscious as nothing more than a blur of post-Soviet tropes. How come Rogan and Franco and Goldberg think that they can depict a sitting world leader being violently murdered on film? Well, I guess the answer is because nobody expects a response. We always treat North Korea like it's no big deal. But here's the thing, I mean, North Korea is not funny, and Kim Jong-un is not a punchline. This is a place who's known for human rights violations, that as Amnesty International put it, are beyond compare in the modern world. Concentration camps, forced famines, political purges, these are all a matter of course in North Korea. If we think that North Korea is no big deal, I mean, try saying that to the tens of thousands of North Koreans who are starved and tortured and enslaved by their own government. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't make good, smart, sensitive political satire, even about imminent subjects. The British filmmaker Chris Morris made a film recently called Four Lions, which is a kind of goofball satire about jihadists. And again, there's a great example like Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator. But I think the key in all of this is sensitivity. After the full breadth of the Nazi atrocities committed during the Second World War were revealed, Charlie Chaplin kind of reneged on his movie The Great Dictator, saying that if he had known about all this, he probably wouldn't have made the movie. The thing is, with North Korea, we do know what's going on. We hear about it all the time, and yet we still point and laugh at them. I guess if there's a silver lining or a teachable moment to take out of this whole fiasco around the interview, it's that North Korea is really nothing to joke about.